Oh. My back's all right. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another one. Hey, we're out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We're going on a solo survival camping mission. Now, you guys have requested this video. This is a highly, highly requested video. So for the next couple of days, it's just you and me out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We have limited gear, couple of nights camping, sleeping on a beach. We've got one fishing rod. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my backpack in a little bit. But first things first, we're gonna make our way down to the coast. Ah. Tell you what, it is not easy navigating your way through this country. Very, very thick shrub. What I'm trying to get to, we're trying to get down to the coast, which is in the direction of the north. So I'm just following a compass here. We're gonna, we want to head northwest. So basically what I want to do is sort of head that way. That's going to get us to the ocean, but just going to get around these big sticks, these big trees. And while I'm doing this, I'm getting cut to the living hell. My legs are getting absolutely sliced up. It's a good thing I've got a set of boots on here, but once we get down to the coast, we'll be, we'll be laughing. While I'm walking around out here in the bush, there's a couple of things that I'm keeping a very keen eye out for. Number one being snakes. You guys can see where we are right now. We're extremely remote. I'm standing knee deep in grass. This is snake country. If we got bitten by a snake out here, it'd be all over Red Rover. I'd be cooked. I've got something in this backpack here which would actually potentially save my life. I'll show you guys that a little bit later. The other thing that we're looking for is anything that's going to help me out for the next couple of days. And just up behind the camera here, something very, very bloody valuable. This stuff down here, have a go at that. These little puffy things of goodness is an ex extremely good way to start a fire and there's no shortage of them. Very, very dry, extremely fibrous material. That is what we're going to be using to start a fire. I'm going to bag up a heap of this stuff. We'll keep punching that way. That's northwest. But first things first, we're going to grab a little bit of this. Look at that. I can hear the ocean. I can legitimately right now hear waves crashing. Look at this. Yeah, look at it. We made it. Look at the water. Oh, look at the color of it. That's not looking that good. That water is brown, chocolate brown. But we've made it to the ocean, doggies. Look at this. Yes, sir. I've been walking for bloody ages and we have made it to the ocean. Look how barren it is out here. I've never been here before. That was a bit of a steam to get down here, but we've made it. Look at this. This is sick. That water is chocolate brown. That's not good. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. There's a little bit of a glass bottle. It's perfectly intact. Actually has the lid on it still, which is quite strange, but that's the old, uh, old school Swanee D bottle. That'll come in handy. You can see the swan there. <laughs> That's not a bad find. We'll leave that there. I'm just going to keep finding materials like this. We'll leave it here. We'll come back for that. That could come in handy for sure. But I just want to run down here, check out this ocean. Look at it. It's pretty bloody barren out here. Look at this. We've made it to the coast. This is off its head. The water is chocolate brown. That's not a good thing. But that doesn't mean we're not going to get fish. The water's definitely not clean. Look at the coastline. There is not a footprint in sight. It's just you and me out here right now for the next couple of days. Let's see if we can get this done. Oh, I just, I, I just seen a fish jump. Not even kidding you. Tiny fish there. Look at this. This is where we're at. Well, that's pretty bloody exciting. I've already seen a fish jump out there. I'm going to quickly run you guys through what we've got in this backpack backpack i've packed extremely light for this next couple of days we don't have much in here number one thing when you're out camping you just you need coffee right that's just that's just the bloody thing so we've got a coffee cup what else we got in here we got a bag of fdys coffee don't leave home without it with a lid of a billy we've got a second gopro which i'm going to smack on my head down here this is what i was talking about a gme personal location beacon if i got bitten by a snake out here i'll break my leg out here 
Right now, we are super remote. There's no one for miles that way and miles and miles that way. This thing would potentially save my life. Shoots a little sig sig signal up to a satellite, satellite goes off. Hopefully people come and save me. So that there, that's a bloody game changer. We've got a billy and a headlight just to be sure. Box of batteries here and uh, that's just about it. Now, when we're starting a fire out here, obviously I don't have a lighter, I didn't bring a lighter with me. I wanna try something new. This here is a bandage. Now this bandage obviously would come in handy if I got bitten by a snake, but that's not what it's for. We're gonna to try to start a fire with the material of this bandage and I'm gonna run you guys through a little bit later. I've never personally done it. I reckon it's gonna work, but we're just gonna give it a red hot crack. So we've got a bandage out here. And last but not least, last thing we have is this. Now obviously we don't have a pillow, we don't have a blanket, we don't have a tent. We don't have anything out here. We're out here for the next couple of days. This, I'm gonna see if this works. This is a thermo accident blanket. So this is what you get inside of a first aid kit. I wanna see if we can survive, if it can keep me warm at night. I'm just gonna wrap myself in this tiny little silver thermo accident blanket and see if that thing keeps us alive. But that's basically all we've got out here for the next couple of days. Obviously, we've got the one and only noodle rod. And to back the noodle rod up, we've got a little box of lures to go with it. A couple of small baby lures there, so. Let's rip in. We're gonna have to build a little shelter, start a fire, try to find somewhere to sleep. This is gonna be good fun. Weather is on point. Water is as dirty as it gets, but I live for these kind of things, mate. That's all we got out here right now, doggies. Let's go and have one hell of a time, eh? I forgot one of the most important things when you're out in the bush. We also have a knife with us. So you guys would know this knife. It's been around the world with me. Here it is. There, it's still going strong. Somehow this knife is still going strong. I don't know how. She's razor sharp, she's ready for a flogging. All right, that's it. Let's see if we can survive out here for the next couple of days. I'd love to get a couple of little fish on the deck in that chocolate water. Let's go. Just like the old Indo days, this here is what you call coastal pig face. It is edible. That flower is completely edible. These leaves are edible if you boil them in water. And if you can get the seeds out of these little seed pockets here, it's like LSD or ecstasy. It's meant to make you go absolutely loopy if you eat enough of the seeds of this tree. But that flower right there, that's an edible flower. You can broil these leaves up, edible. First little bit of bush tucker. It's pretty barren out here. That right there is our first bit of food for the mission. Doesn't really taste like too much, but it's got a little bit of a flavor. Tastes like lettuce. Anyway, we'll keep moving. See if we can find some more treasure. What we got here is a little bit of a stick. The reason I want this stick is because of that ash there. Obviously someone's had a fire or it's washed up on the beach, but that little bit of ash or charcoal wood, that is exactly what we want. That's gonna help us starting a fire. So I've just got the billy here. Just gonna scrape off all of that goodness into that little billy. We're gonna be either starting a fire with friction or well, that's what I wanna do. I wanna use that bandage and use start a fire with friction. And what's gonna help that friction is a little bit of that charcoal there or that ash. So we'll just scrape that into the billy. That's more than enough there. A little bit of billy, a little bit in the bottom of the billy there. That'll come in handy for sure. Just gonna spend a little bit of time trying to get a little bit of grub on the deck. So we're just gonna walk along the coast here, casting a little lure into this chocolate brown water. Hopefully we can get ourselves starting to cook up around a fire later on, but this water is extremely brown, dude. It's like a chocolate milkshake. Look at it. Bah! Bah! Woo! Look at that. If only that was in one piece and still fresh, we'd be eating very, very good. There's a big old crayfish. Or a lobster, look at him. Still kind of fresh, but it's way too old to eat now. He would have been lovely chewing if we found him fresh. Wonder what happened to that thing. No meat inside there anymore anyway. He's a big dog. He would have been a good chewing. That'd go lovely around the fire. 
Anyway, we'll keep punching on. Look at the colours in it. Boom! Boosh! Fa! Soo! Here's a cheeky little buddy update for you. Been walking for about probably walking for about two hours now. Have not had one fish sniff the lure. Haven't found any rubbish. Can't have found a couple of dope looking shells, a couple more crayfish, but there's just not a lot of stuff that's gonna help us out. A little bit of driftwood, little bits of stuff, but there's not a lot. There are no fish right now and that's starting to worry me. I've been fishing for probably two hours-ish. Walking and fishing, coastline hasn't changed too much. Same looking coastline, but we're just gonna keep grazing. I think I might start walking back in a little while because there was a nice cove back up that way, but for now, We'll just keep walking, we'll keep fishing. Hopefully, we'll get something on the deck to start this mission off. But uh, right now, we're in Struggle Town. Woo! Righto. We have got no fish on the deck at all. I've been fishing for, I don't know how many hours, Walking up and down the coast, fishing bloody hard. We've got no fish. I'm sunburnt, I feel absolutely flogged out. You wanna see how sunburnt my bloody neck is, mate? I'm sunburnt, I'm pretty cooked. We walked so far that way. We did, all, we walked all the way to that little headland over there, fishing the whole way. A couple of bait fish, but there's just no luck, mate. So uh, I don't know what we're gonna do for grub, but I've really gotta start thinking about finding a place to sleep and uh, getting a fire going. I'm guessing this here is gonna be the bedroom for the night. Everything looked basically the same. There's not really any difference in any of the, any of the landscape around here. But the reason that I've chosen this is because this is like probably the biggest hill out of them all. So I'm gonna use those sticks there. We're gonna excavate out a little section. I can tuck up against there. The, w the wind is coming from the west, which is that direction over there. So. Should be out of the wind for the night. We'll be a little fire going here. It's gonna be a dope little campground, but we've got a lot of work to do and uh, that sun ain't messing around. That's not too much sunlight there. So, hey, we've got to get to work. I'm gonna start digging this out. I'm sweating absolute bullets right now. We've got a little bit of a bedroom going on here. I've excavated this whole side out. It's perfect, there's actually no wind here. Up there it's quite windy. Down here there's not a bit of wind. I found this beautiful piece of coral here. That's what I'm using just to like, this sand here is super solid. So I'm just cutting the sand up with that. And then we're just flicking it out there. Whew. We got a lot to go yet. Sun ain't messing around, that sun's flying down. I spent way too much time fishing and not enough time trying to get us somewhere ready to sleep tonight. And we've got to start a fire as well. Sometimes starting a fire can take absolutely hours. So we've got to move our asses. This is how it's looking. We've excavated out this whole side of the wall here. So now what we'll do is we're gonna sleep down here tonight. That wind is pretty windy up the top there, but down here, there's absolutely not a breath of wind.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. That is as much as I'm gonna do on it for now. This is our little shelter. It's actually looking pretty bloody good. It's casting a heap of shade over here, which is what the purpose of it is for. Tomorrow, we're not gonna melt in the sun, but this is basically the setup we're gonna have. We can keep adding on and adding on to it tomorrow, but this is what we got. That right there is home for the night. And I just saw a dolphin right there. There it is right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a dolphin right there. It just popped out just then. You would have seen that if you got a good set of eyes. Nice little dolphin over there. But this, this is our house. This is where we're going to be spending the next couple of nights. It's not too, much, it's not too flash, but look, it's going to do. It obviously doesn't have to be a fully blown covered roof because there is no sign of rain in sight. It is an absolute bluebird day. But uh, this is what it's looking like in here. There's heaps of room. Look at the views, bruh. You just sit back here. Oh man, look at this. Oh, we could easy sleep in here. There's plenty of room. Look at this, I can just sit up in here. It's big enough to do a heap of activities in here. It's much it's big enough to sit in, sleep in, chill out while it's hot in the next couple of days. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna think about getting a fire on the go. And um, that is where that bandage, which I showed you guys this morning, is going to come into play. So we're going to go scavenge around. We're going to go find a certain piece. We're going to go find a certain piece of wood to get this fire underway. And um, that could be a bit of a mission. So we're going to have to start pushing it again. Look for a very flat, two extremely flat pieces of wood. Haven't seen any yet. We need it to be flat wood. And I know pieces of flat driftwood in sight. So what we're gonna have to do is, we've got this log here. We'll um, have to split this log down the middle with this knife and then try to make two extremely flat surfaces from the internal piece of wood like this. This is gonna take a little while, but this is a, sort of like a nice, soft, really, really dry wood. So let's see if this works. Just gonna try to split it down the middle. Come on, big rig. Nearly there. There we go. All right. This is what we're going to do here. We've got two beautiful flat. Well, they're not really flat yet, but I need to make these things flat. So what I'm going to have to do is get this knife and just slowly chip away at the face of the wood like this. It'll happen over time. You can see that's getting real flat there. We need two big flat surfaces. That's what's gonna ca cause the friction to start the fire. Hopefully, if not, we'll just go make a bow drill, but uh, I wanna try this. I reckon this is gonna be quicker than a bow drill. Let's see how we go anyway. This is gonna take a while. That's pretty bloody good. Been here for a fair whack. We've got heaps of nice tinder to start a fire down here, the stuff that I'm ripping off. But if you can see this, that's quite flat. I've got a little bit more to go, but these are our two flat surfaces of wood that we have. It's taken a bloody long time, but this is quite soft wood. And I found the best way, put it up against your chest, push, push against the ground, and then just push against. This is a really, really bloody sharp knife. Well, it won't be at the end of this mission, but slide it down like that. Look at that, it just comes off like sawdust. And you get left with that beautiful finish, flat, nice piece of wood there. This is how we're gonna start a fire, hopefully. All right, this is what's going on right now. Got a little fire pit down here. We've got that beautiful dry tinder which we found this morning up on that track that's loaded up we've got a pile of small sticks over here that's ready to go on if we get ignition this may or may not work never tried it before but what we're doing is got a bandage we're gonna undo this bandage and we're gonna take out 
about that much of the bandage. I'm gonna cut that straight down the center there. Probably about that much there. So that is a little bit of bandage there. What I'm gonna do, get that ash or that charcoal which we found this morning, which is sitting in the bottom of the billy. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top of the bandage here. So this is what it looks like now. We've got the bandage, we've got that black charcoal and all that ash in the middle there. Usually, if you're gonna be just starting a fire like this, you would use cotton wool. You know those little round cotton wool buds? You'd use them, but I don't have them. We've got to imp improvise. I had, a, I had a bandage, so we're gonna try it. What we'll do now is we're gonna roll this bandage up into like a little hot dog or a sausage roll. Okay, we've got all that spread out. We're just gonna roll that up. And we're just gonna roll it up like this. Nice and tight. That is what we're left with, a little tube or a cylinder. That is gonna sit right over this piece of wood like that. This second piece of wood here is gonna go on top of that there. And what you do is you roll. It's gonna be impossible with, two, with one hand, hold on. That right there is a bandage full of charcoal. Flat piece of wood on the bottom, flat piece of wood here. Basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start friction. We're gonna rub this against this, downward pressure, back and forth like all buggery until that friction gets so hot that it starts, there's an ember formed. It'll start in the center of this little bandage here and then we're just gonna drop it on there. It sounds a lot easier than it's gonna be, but it'll work. We're just gonna have to run this back and forth. Downward pressure, let's go. Oh, you want to feel how hot that is. I've only been doing that for a couple of seconds and that's got a lot of heat in. This is going to work for sure. That's holding a lot of heat already. Let's keep going. I officially cannot feel my right arm or fingers. But we've got smoke. I think we've been recording for, that camera's been rolling for five minutes in 19 seconds. Full flat stick, just doing this for five minutes. And you can smell the smoke. Oh, you cannot, I can't see smoke, but you can smell it. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's there. We got heat here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. Holy shit, the whole thing's hot. Let's see if I can transport this to the fire. All right. Oh, come here. Hold on, where's that gonna bloody go? We've got an ember inside this little, we've got an ember inside this little bloody thing here. Come on, baby. Oh, it's not taking light. Now, if you guys can see this, but we've got an ember inside that little thing there. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby, come on. I'm not gonna stop recording because every time you do one of these videos, someone says, that's not real. So you guys are just gonna have to be patient, but we're getting there.
You're joking. Oh, we've got a bloody big, big black ball of embers inside here. This thing just will not go up. Maybe this material's got a bit too much salt on it. We've got a bit of a thing going on in here, but. I'm still sitting here. I'm still got this thing smoking, but it will not ignite. We've had GoPro number one overheat. That's why I'm using this GoPro now. This is the head GoPro. Dude, we've got a beautiful ember. Look at this. It just will not take up to fire. I don't know what's going on here. I'm running out of this, this stuff here, but it's going to have to go. There's, there's a lot of heat inside here right now. As, ah, as if that doesn't go. It even makes that sound. Come on, big rig. Come on, come on. This is ridiculous, bruh. Look at the smoke that's coming out of this thing right now. It just will not want to take a light. But we've got, we've kind of got fire. Come on! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been sitting here blowing this pile of smoke. Like, no, no matter what I do, it, it, it just will not take a flame. It's smoldering. Like these little bits here, see that burnt bit there? They're burning away like that. That's what the smoke is. So I could probably carry this over to the bush Go find some more material and probably light it up, but this stuff just does not want to ignite. Look at the smoke, man. I just can't get a flame. Like, I'm blowing, I've been sitting here for 20 minutes blowing on it, man. Ah, come on. Ah, it's got fire! Yes! You're joking! Oh, we've got a flame. We've got flame. That was a mission. Dude. Yeah, we got flame. <laughs> I have literally been sitting here for about half an hour. That is a mission. That was a mission. What we got there. Look at that. We got fire. One GoPro melting away. Second GoPro come out in the goods and we got a fire going. That was a mission, doggies. We got it, but. That fire was an absolute mission to get going just then. If you're ever going to try to do that, use cotton buds. You know the little round cotton buds that they come in like a packet of 100 or whatever? Cotton buds or cotton balls or whatever they're called. Very, very effective way, easy way to start a fire. That bandage, that was not easy. I was downward force rubbing that for a bloody long time. We finally got a tiny ember inside, and what happened was the ember actually burns internally from the inside out. When you use those cotton balls or cotton buds, that actually the whole thing just embers up. Where we just had a tiny, tiny little baby ember inside that rolled up bit of bandage, but that whole bit of bandage was hot. Like I've actually burnt my fingertip there. Crazy. Anyway, we got a, we got a fire going. It took some bloody work. I think I've been sitting here for over an hour, but it's not easy doing it like this, but look, we got it done. Talking about an hour, we've got about an hour's sunlight left. There's about an hour in that over there. And what I have noticed, if you guys can see that there, that out there is a little patch of reef. So what we'll do now is load this fire up, we'll stock this fire up so it doesn't go out because I'm never doing that again. And then uh, we're gonna go see if we can put some grub on the fire tonight. Let's get the fishing rod. We'll go for a big steam that way. I've eaten nothing all day. And uh, a little bit of a fish on the fire wouldn't go bad, eh? All right, let's go fishing. So. Where's all the food at? Lots of little rock pools and little crabs like this. 
I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that crab. It's very well camouflaged, but that right there is a crab. A little seaweed crab. He's too small to eat. Haven't seen any oysters. There's not many shells yet, but we just keep looking. We've got a lot of reef. This reef goes right out there, all the way out the end, all the way down here. So we've got a fair bit to cover. Hopefully we can get a bit of grub off this. Anyone home? Oh, there's a crab. Hey, he's tiny. A bit of a bloody sea cucumber. You can eat him up. No, they're no good. Put that rock back. Well, there is not much food out here, eh? Let's squash that bloody sea cucumber. All right, mate, you're, you're good. There's not much food out here, eh? We've been walking around for a whack now. Haven't seen one oyster, one edible shell. The whole entire reef is covered in this like muddy, it's not like a healthy, nice, colorful reef. It's sort of, I don't know, keep moving. That there would be an insane feed. That's a big old clam. Hey, buddy. Wouldn't want to get your bloody fingers stuck in there, eh? That's a clam. That's a beautiful, oh, there he goes. Finally figured out we're here. They're good eating, but you're not allowed to eat them. They're it's illegal to eat these, but that's massive. That's the size of my fist. He's a big dog. There'd be plenty of food in there. That's the first edible thing I've seen since I've been walking around. And that sun is getting pretty low now. It's just nothing out here. It's all this muddy, no good. Tell you what, I wouldn't bloody mind stumbling across a big rock covered in oysters right now but um i don't like our chances i've been walking around this reef for a fair whack and i have not found one edible bit of food everything here is is just either dead open shells or um it's just nothing here it's like a slimy layer of mud over the whole reef doesn't look good eh? we're not looking good right now haven't got a fish on the deck today doesn't look like we're going to be eating any crabs or clams or oysters or anything like that uh oh sun right now is setting over the ocean look at that bruh that's so sick how good is that <laughs> that's what it's all about my doggies the only problem is we don't have any food and i've eaten nothing all day that's not good i'm gonna keep looking until that sun goes down but uh my chances are getting extremely slim right now once that sun goes down i'm kind of done that's magic, but look at it. Dude. Yeah, doggy, look at that. That's what it's all about. Psst. Hey. Excuse me, mate. <laughs> look at this turtle, dude. Hey, you going, bud? That's so rad. You look over my shoulder there, you've got the most craziest colours in the sky. Look over there, just watch the most banging sunset. And you look down here, and there's a bloody turtle. Hey buddy! Look how dope that is, man. Turtle just chilling in the shallow rock pools. The only problem that we have, there's no food still. This is what it all looks like. It's just this slimy, muddy, not good, eh? All right, mate, see you later. Be good. It's like we're going hungry. <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. Oh, you want to see our bedroom for the night? It is off its head. Oh, hey. 7.35 at night right now. Fire is pumping. Our bedroom's ready to rock and roll. We've got, oh, what is that, dude? Oh my God, look at this. That, look at this bloody thing. That bug scared the absolute shit out of me. 7.35 in the Arvo. We've got no food on the deck. Sucks, man. I was really hoping we'd be able to cook a fish over the fire, but I've put in so many hours walking around out there. I've only just got back about 40 minutes ago. We're walking around in the dark with that torch trying to find food. 
could not find anything edible. There's a lot of small crabs and stuff, but there's nothing really edible. So um, we're going hungry. First night out here, no food. But one thing that I'm extremely stoked about is there is no mosquitoes. There's no sand flies. There's nothing except for those big busted ass bugs that I just showed you then. There's nothing out here. I've not got one sand fly bite, which is very, very rare for this area. Usually I'd be getting lit up by sand flies right now, but I haven't had one bite. Touch wood, hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, this is me for the rest of the night. I'm gonna sit around the fire, just chill out, and uh, probably curl up in that little electric blanket in a minute. Oh, I'll show you, is it? It's actually sick. Look at our bedroom. Check this out. This is home for the night. <laughs> Look at this. This is, that, this is that blanket that I was telling you about that come out of that first aid kit. It's super fine, but um, it's meant to keep you warm. Never used one before. It's pretty big. I can easily sleep on that side, and then that side there is going to wrap over me. So we should be pretty right. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. It's very, very thin, but you can see that it would keep your body temperature in. It's kind of pretty cold. As soon as that sun goes down, it um, definitely gets pretty chilly out here. But... We'll see how we go. This should stop a little bit of condensation through the night. Wrap myself up in that, we'll be all good to go. I'm gonna sit around the fire for another hour or two and then um, I'm gonna call it a night. So uh, I'll see you guys whenever I am crawling into this little bedroom and uh, we're going hungry. Season, see you, see you when I bloody crawl into bed. Blah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Get out of me face. That's not good. Alright, we're in bed. Time. Just about to go 9 o'clock. Let's see if this little thing keeps me warm. It's not that cold out here. It's definitely a little bit chilly. I just stoked up the fire. We've got a big flame over there. Let's see if this little silver blanket will keep us warm during the night. I'm just, it's just enough covered me where I'm not laying on the sand, so I don't have that moisture coming through. And obviously I've got it on top of me as well. So I'm just gonna lay on me back, use me backpack as a pillow, and uh, I guess I'll uh, film anything if it, anything weird happens during the night, but I'm pretty knackered, mate. I'm gonna call it a night. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, coffee first thing, and then we've gotta go find a bit of food. Look at this, this is pretty dope, eh? Hey? <laughs> Oh, right, I'll see you in the morning, doggies. Ah. <sighs> Good bloody morning to ya. 6 a.m. Right now it is 6 o'clock in the morning. I had a really, really bad sleep. Oh, my back's so sore, dude. Look at that sunrise. We have got the hell of sunrise happening right now. <clears throat> that was horrible, dude. <coughs> <coughs> mm. oh. Oh. oh, look at this. This is pretty beautiful. I probably look like a smashed crab because I feel like one. But um, that's what happens when you sleep in the dirt. And have a go at that for a way to wake up. All right, you know the drill. Let's get a fire going. The fire went out a long time ago. It's still gonna be hot inside there, but yeah, it's still hot. All right, let's go. We got fire. The sand underneath here is so hot, it's very easy to restart fire. A little bit of a fire going on. Oh, it's so warm. 
All right. We've got a nice little fire going here. <sighs> Tell you what, that broken ankle of mine, if you guys like an OG follower, you will know that I've got a broken foot. It is so sore right now. The amount of Ks we did yesterday, walking up and down the coast trying to find fish, my foot is that sore. It takes a couple of minutes to walk around in the morning to bloody loosen it up. You'll probably notice me limping on the video. Oh, it's pretty bloody sore right now. But today's even, today's even a bigger day. As soon as we have a coffee, we're gonna punch out. We're gonna go see if we can find food today. Um, I'm as hungry as, as buggery right now. I can legitimately eat the ass out of a low flying duck. I'm that hungry. So um, as soon as we neck this coffee, I'm just gonna head that way. Yesterday we went, we went that way, we went west. Today we're gonna head in that easterly direction. And we're gonna go see if we can pick up some food up that side. We're gonna do long walks. So uh, I'm gonna make a coffee and we'll hit, hit the road. So that water is done. It's time for that coffee. I've been stinging for this coffee, eh? What we've got here is we've got a little bit of the FDYS drip filtered coffee. If you guys want to get this, bang the link in the description. You'll be able to get your hands on a bag of this. It's limited edition. It's my own signature blend of coffee. And I'm telling you right now, if you're a coffee lover, you will love this. Extremely dark roast, strong, just like I like it. Best out here in the bush. If you, don't, if you don't know, they come in these convenient little bags like this. So basically what you do is you just rip the wings off, off like that, rip the top of the coffee bag, and inside you've got one serving of very dark roasted coffee. Sit it over the side of your cup like that. Got two little bits of bark here, just to grab this little billy, because it's gonna be bloody hot. Like that there. Got a billy full of boiling water. Just gonna pour it into that little satchel there. Boom, we've got a hell of a coffee. Look at that, fire, coffee, hell of a sunrise. There's not a breath of wind right now. All right, after this coffee, we've got to go gather a little bit of food. Hopefully today we can get some food around the fire. Boom. We're on the move. Coffee's been had. I've stoked up the fire back at camp there. So when we get back, there's obviously gonna be no fire, but the, the ground is gonna be extremely hot. It'll be easy to start a fire like we did this morning. Today's mission, we're gonna try to steam up around that headland up there, around the next headland and try to find some fish to chuck on a fire because legitimately I could eat the ass out of a low flying duck. I'm that bloody hungry right now. I honestly had no food yesterday. Had nothing for breakfast except for two coffees. Sat around camp for a little while this morning. That sun is well and truly up now. We're steaming that way. Look at the conditions, bruh. It is absolutely beautiful out here right now. I'm just gonna keep a very keen eye out for a little bait fish jumping. Throw the noodle rod at him. But uh, today's mission, food. We've got to find some sort of tucker. I don't want to just be eating leaves and bloody flowers off that goat's foot. I want to be eating some good good grubs, so we're just going to walk that way. Try to find ourselves a bit of food. How about go at like this? Feels like I need a bloody camel. We're in the middle of a desert right now. Look at this. We're actually in a desert. I've been walking for so long. Time right now is 10.44 in the morning, so we've, we've been walking for about two hours, maybe a little bit more than two hours. Been fishing the entire way, have not got a fish on the deck. Then I've just come across this psycho looking desert, so I thought I'd run up here and have a quick look. It's pretty dope out here, look at it. We're in the middle of nowhere, man. It's a fully blown desert. What I wanna do, I wanna keep walking that way and just keep fishing. The water's extremely dirty, it's very, very muddy. It's kinda of windy today, that wind's coming from the east as well, so it's not great, but look at this. A little bit of a change of environment for us. How good. Yeah. 
Now we're talking my kind of language. We've been from the coast to the desert to now we found this little inlet of a creek here. And this, I guarantee you, this is where we're gonna get food. What I've done is I've changed that lure out to a tiny little minnow there. We've got an incoming tide, water's rushing down the creek there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flick this minnow until the, until the sun sets. We're gonna get a fish in this creek. Little minnow, I'm gonna put it to work. Let's go. Look at this, we've got heaps and heaps of creek to explore. It's an incoming tide. Fish should be getting pushed up the creek right now. Let's put this minnow to work. Frothing, dude, look at this. This looks way better. The water's a lot cleaner than the ocean is actually, which is quite surprising. All right, let's start piffing lures. We've got to get some food on the deck, man. Time right now, one o'clock. Come on. We've got to get some form of food, man. Come on, big rig. Bah! That's fish. We've got fish on, doggies. That's fish, first fish. What is this? Oh, it's a tiny trevally. Look at him. That's first fish, brah. That is first fish of the troop right there. Oh, look at this. Listen to him grunting. That right there, my doggies, is a little baby trevally. You're joking. First fish. Look at this little thing. Look at that. That right there is a baby trevally. We've been here for no more than, I don't know, probably fishing for five to 10 minutes. That's the first fish of the trip. It is a baby trevally. If you get enough of these things, they're actually pretty good eating fresh around a fire. So this is the first fish we've caught and I'm gonna keep it because the way we're going, we're not getting bugger all. That is a little fish, but it's gonna be a good feed. It didn't even put up a fight. We literally just brought him straight up. You can hear him grunting. This is what these fish do. They make like a grunting sound. Listen to him. Here's a beautiful little one. I'm gonna neck him and chuck him in the backpack. I can't take any chances. We've still got one more night out here and um, so far we've got no food. I'm starving. That thing right there is making me drool. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Sah. <laughs> Look at this trevally. This little trevally just smashed that lure right at my feet. That is a proper, proper baby. That is tiny. I'm gonna let that one go. It's way too small. That there is the fish that we're going for, but if we can get him 10 times bigger, he is tiny. Look at him in the size of my hand. We're gonna let this one go. Boom, he's gone. Come on, we need a big dog, man. We've got fish on again. It's not big, but it's a fish. Yes. What's that? It's another trevally. That took a long time between fish, but that's another trevally the same size as that other one. I'm gonna have to keep him. The way we're going right now, there's not many fish out here. He is a beautiful little one. He'll be good eating. There's another one in the bag. I'd never keep a fish of this size, but we legit have no food out here. Second day, not eating. He's in the bag. Currently steaming back to camp right now. We don't have a lot of sunlight left. I've been fishing my little heart out the entire day. And um, we got two fish for dinner, doggies. It is unbelievable. I'm starving. Second day, no food. Oi, I gotta say a massive, Massive shout out to the mad dog that just ripped up in a four wheel drive. I'm out here in the middle of bloody nowhere. You can see his tracks here. This bloke in a four B just comes stinging it past me and he goes, field day. Jumps out of his car. He goes, what are you doing? I was like, I'm camping up here on the beach there. And then he reckons bloody, oh, you want a beer? And I was like, brah, I would do anything for a cold beer. Jumps in his fridge, doesn't have any bloody cold beers in there, does he? But he was an absolute bloody legend. We took some photos, we had a hell yarn. So, to that bloke, you're a bloody legend, mate. Hopefully he didn't go sabotage my shelter. He said he wanted, we wanted to go check out the shelter. So, that's all the way down there. He's um, probably there right now. Anyway, we're steaming back to the shelter. We've got about three and a half, three, three, three and a half hours of sunlight left. So, uh, I am bloody starving. As soon as we rock up back there, we're cooking a feed. Bloody hungry. All right, next time I see you guys, we'll be sitting around a fire at camp cooking these fish up. I'm starving. Wow. Look at this. I'm that bloody hungry. Oh, you're joking. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> Sorry, no beers left, mate. Enjoy this at sunset. It's bloody wine. There's about a bloody, there's about a glass of wine left in this box. That must have been from the mad dog who was ripping past before. <laughs> yeah, doggy. Oh man, field day fam. 
Oh, you guys are absolute bloody legends. That's so good. There's about a glass of wine in there, doggies. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing ever. Look at this. Look at a little bit of wine out bush in our little camp down here. This is probably going to get me pissed. I haven't eaten food for two days. That's so good. There's about a glass. Oh, hey, mate, if you're watching this video, little things like this, it blows my mind. I, I really bloody do appreciate that. You're an absolute legend and I will enjoy this at sunset. We're not too far off having that sunset now, but if you're watching, brother, thank you so much. You're a legend, bus. That's so sick. All right, we've got two baby little GTs in the backpack here. That's all the fish we got. I fished my heart out today. My bloody broken foot is absolutely killing me right now, so I'm not going to do any more walking. Just going to pull up here for the other. We've only got a couple of hours of sun. We've got to kick this fire in the ass again and uh let's cook up a couple of fish and now have a little glass of wine on sunset <laughs> all right let's get a fire going this is too good to be true bro so we've got a beautiful little fire here what i'm doing i'm just going to put a little bit of a clean edge on two of these sticks that's how we're going to be cooking these fish i'm not doing anything fancy right now i'm that bloody hungry we've got heaps of sunlight left we're laughing i'm going to clean up these sticks boom welcome to the kitchen this is the kitchen right now two sticks sharp ends on them the stick goes right through from the fish's mouth right to the back of the fish's tail going through both fish like that this is putting out heaps of heat that's not going to take too long to cook two beautiful little trevally we're going to have one banging sunset we got a little bit of red wine down here <laughs> how good this isn't going to take too long there's a lot of heat there you want to keep these sticks here away from the heat or they burn and they fall in. So this is the perfect height. See that smoke passing the fish? Ah, these are going to be delicious little treats, eh? It's not a lot of food, but I tell you what, it's better than nothing. It's been grinding. Just turned the fish. They're golden. They're delicious. Oh, they're going to be so good. Look at this, man. I'm very, very, very happy right now. It's all about this down here. First thing I've eaten in two days. You wanna lose weight? Just come out here. Come fishing with me and get nothing. Oh, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> ah, all right. The fish are done. They're cooling down on top of our little shelter. Pumped up the fire. I'm about to pour myself a glass of wine. What the hell, dude? This doesn't happen every day. <sighs> Again, mate, thank you so much. <sighs> this is gonna be very well enjoyed. Here we go, doggies. <sighs> Definitely smells like wine. Let's hope it is wine. Here we go, ready? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, mate, you're a bloody legend. Look at that, it's just about one coffee cup full of wine. Boom! Little glass of wine, little fire, bang and sunset about to take down. Couple of fish cooling down up there. Doggies! One beautifully cooked Trevally right there. This is our little coral plate. Here's our second one, beautifully cooked. Pull them straight off the stick. Lay them on there. This, this is our little plate. We're gonna have a feast. First things first, I wanna cheese you guys for all the love, for all the support you guys are showing me over the last couple of years. These videos obviously are not possible without you. So this is for you guys and for the guy who gave me this wine. You're a lord, brother. Here we go. Cheers, doggies. I appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, man. Incredible. Oh, that's so good, dude. Red wine in the bush when you don't expect it. Here we go. We're going to dig into this fish. Look at this. Look at that white, juicy white meat right there. Oh, it's still bloody hot. Oh, man, that is delicious. Simple and delicious. Wow. 
Oh, that's the first thing I've eaten in two days. Look how white that meat is right there. Couple of bones in these small fish, but this is all we could get. I fished hard. It's better than nothing. Oh, dude, it's so good. This is what's happening down here. One fish has been destroyed. There's not much meat left on that little thing. I even ate the bloody cheeks out of this fish head. Got one fish left, little bit of wine left. Beautiful fire. Sitting next to a shelter, which we're gonna be calling home for the night again tonight, watching a banging sunset. But at this point, I am gonna love yous and I'm gonna leave yous because to be honest, I'm just gonna be doing the same thing again tonight. I'm gonna to curl up in there, sleep there. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up super early and bust on out of here. I've got about that much water left in my water bottle. And um, that was an extremely enjoyable little camping mission. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I'll see you in the next video on the next adventure. If you guys wanna get your merch, make sure you go hit the link in the description or just punch in fieldayshop.com. That coffee's also down in the link in the description. All right, my doggies, thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Remember, life is for living. Get out there, enjoy this. It's good for the heart, it's good for the soul, it's good for everything. Right, I, I'll see you next week. Ow! Ah! Oh my God, that wine is out of control. That's so good. Top it off with a little bit of fish. This is the definition of living.